So Martin is in Rancho Cucamonga. Hi, Martin. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm great. Welcome. I love your show. I've been uh, all the way back to the days of uh, uh, Twit TV and uh, Thank you. the screensavers. Ah, yes, the venerable screensavers. <laughs> ah, yes. I have a question on a uh, upgrade that I'd like to do on my iMac. Okay. I have a 27-inch uh, iMac. Uh, was made in 2011. Yep. Uh, and I'd like to put a solid-state drive in it. Oh, it's a great thing to do. Uh, it's hard to do in that particular model. You have the flat screen, right? The all-in-one. Yes. Yeah. So I've I've done this. Actually, I didn't even have the guts to do it. I had my engineers do it, and I watched. Uh, because opening up this iMac requires not only the special tools to open it up, but you need a suction cup for the screen. You actually lift. <laughs> this was the thing that scared me. You lift the glass screen out, and you have to do that to get in there to take out the spinning drive and replace it. So, But it's doable. If you feel confident, it's totally doable. It certainly will save you money over having uh, somebody else do it. What I would suggest, though, is go to ifixit.com. And look up that particular model. They'll have a step-by-step -step breakdown. They, they're kind of like their goal in life is to have manuals for everything. And then they also, and the way they make money is they sell the parts and the tools, so that you can do do all this fix it. You know, they even have manuals on how to fix McDonald's Happy Meal toys and the tool that you need to do that. So they, I mean, they're crazy about this stuff. And I should give them a disclaimer: they have been in the past a sponsor. iFixit.com. Look at the video. Another place you can go, and they'll probably also have good videos, is Other World Computing. And that's where I would go to buy the drive, because you want to make sure the drive is compatible. And Other World Computing okay. sells Mac stuff only. They sell great solid state drives. Their Mercury drives are superb. But you'll want to get, you'll want to go there and make sure you get exactly the right one for that particular iMac. Now, my question I want to, that, that will be my primary boot up drive for. Basically, the OS, as far as storage of, of my data files, pictures, videos, uh, I'd like to put it on a, on a traditional hard drive. Can I put the or leave the original hard drive in there? You cannot. There's no room for it. So there, so there. Have to use an external drive. Yeah, but that's fine. That that uh, you have fast, high-speed connections. I can't remember if the 2011 has Thunderbolt. I think it does. So it does. Yeah. So you, I mean, you get a Thunderbolt drive that'll be as fast as an internal drive, and uh, that that's what I do. I have big external drives because you you can't you don't want to buy a giant SSD drive. They're very expensive per gigabyte. Really, what you want is just enough for your operating system and applications, and then you can use an external drive for your data. What size would you recommend then? I think one, uh, let's see, 128 is kind of the minimum. I think 256 would be plenty, but you can find out just by looking at how you've used your drive currently. Don't look at data, just look at the applications folder and the system folder, and you'll see how much space is occupied. That'll give you some idea. 256 is, is absolutely enough unless you have giant programs. Um, what would be the best way of copying all the data files off the drive I have now so I can transfer them to the uh, Thunderbolt drive. Uh, I use SuperDuper. Everybody who owns a Mac should probably own a copy of SuperDuper. There's a free version that will do this, but if you want to have some more features, there's a paid version as well. It's the king of the Mac copying programs. It'll even take your internal drive and duplicate it so that you can boot from the external drive, and that is nice. Because then, if the internal drive dies, you always can run your computer still just by booting from the in external drive. Super Duper is fantastic. Very good. And well, the, thank the you kit, so much, Leo. they've sent me a link. You're welcome. The kit for a, a, a mid 2011 iMac, it says dual hard drive. So maybe you can put two hard drives in there. Um, looks like there's, it, I mean, you'd have to look and make sure that this is the, 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 the Mac you have. But apparently, on the 27-inch mid-2011, you can get two hard drives in there. You can get an SSD and a, spinning, a terabyte spinning drive. That must be for the Fusion, the, the Mac, um, the iMacs that had a Fusion system in there. Well, check and see. But this is a $50 kit. And what you're buying with the kit is not the drives. You're, you're buying the tools, the weird little suction cups, and the special spudger, and the... <laughs> <laughs> and the special screwdriver, because, of course, Apple doesn't use normal screws. There is a funny a scene in uh, the Steve Jobs movie 
also apocryphal, as most of the movie is. But there's a funny scene in which uh, the original and uh, the original IMAC they they want to, It's 30 minutes to the big presentation of the original IMAC. This did not happen, by the way. <laughs> but they need to. Something won't work. The hello demo won't work, and they need to get into it. And uh, Joanna Hoffman, his PR person, who is played by the wonderful Kate Winslet in this movie, says to the fake Steve Jobs, Michael Fassbender, well, why don't we just open it up and fix it? And he says, well, do you want to tell her or I? Or should I? And Andy Hertzfeld, who's also played brilliantly by somebody who sounds and looks just like Andy, who's a great guy, and he says, you can't get in it because Steve didn't want anybody to open it up, so we've used a weird screw. Well, who has the screwdriver? Nobody does. <laughs> All made up. It's true, though. That one little bit is true. It was a weird screw. It was a Torx screw, and you didn't have, a, have to have a special Torx screwdriver, which you could readily get, but you'd had to have that to open it up. It's true. Steve did not want people to open up his, uh, his computer. <laughs> and it's still that way today. So you need the special uh, kit to open it up. You'll need the suction cups to remove the glass. You'll, it, there is a video, which is nice, at ifixit.com. And then, depending on your model, I, I, apparently on the 27-inch, you could uh, put two drives in. So maybe that's the answer. I like the idea of an external drive, uh, especially if you have a Thunderbolt port, because then you can do things like move it or duplicate it. Or if the computer dies, bring it in, and you could still have a, your, all your data would still be there. I love keeping the data external to the computer, or at least on a separate drive.